today I'm so excited that I'm finally filming with Flo! Hello! We were just saying that we've known each other for years and we're finally filming together and we're in LA even though we're yeah, both in like, the UK. We could be doing this in London like any time in the last three, four, five years. Exactly. Whatever, how long we've known each other and no. But it's fun! And we met up the other day and we had like a huge shopping day together with Anna and we went to Target and Ulta and Sephora. So we've just done a big Sephora kind of Ulta haul on Fleur's channel. So I'll link that video down below. Go and have a look. And now we're going to do a Target haul. Was it just Target we went to? Yeah. Yeah. We didn't really like CVS or anything. No. Yeah. They had like everything. Although I have like a random bag that's <laughs> not Target. It is so from Target. I just didn't want to keep the huge bag. Yeah, we it was huge. It's like and we, <laughs> we went a bit wild. So go on, you go first. I have the same thing that you're about to hold up, so let's do that together. Well I got this because <laughs> you got it and I was like, I've never I want seen that. this before. <laughs> it's basically a soft lips cube. I had never seen it before, but I really like the soft lips lip balm. It's really cheap, I think it was like three, two or three dollars. Um, but the original soft lips is really nice and I thought, oh cute, it's in like an ice cube shape. Is it like the EOS, like you got like this? Yeah, I think so. Mm. And um, it's vanilla bean flavour, five in one lip care, hydrates, <laughs> replenishes, smooths, protects and adds shine. I've never tried soft lips. So, so let's so open it. I, I basically smell walked it right around now. and just picked up everything that everyone else has been like, oh I haven't seen that, I'll get that, I'll get that. It's going to be really sweet. Look how cute it is. Mm, it's mm. really sweet, but nice. I love anything vanilla though. I'm like obsessed with vanilla. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. So that's exciting. I'll enjoy that. They're I love like dinky. You can never have too many lip balms. That is the rule. Well, I don't know. I think I disagree <laughs> with that. I have way too many. But I need another one. I picked up this from Physician. Phys I can never say this. Physicians, Physicians Formula. Formula, yeah. yeah. I haven't tried that many different things from them, but you said the blushes are good. The blushes are good. I haven't tried this one though. So this one says it's for brunettes, which sounds cool. Oh, there cool. you go. You know, I'm I like not it. liking the illustration <laughs> on the front. Like, that's, it's a that's bit me. random, isn't it? Like, <laughs> so it is weird. random. But I like when things are targeted to, to like your hair or eye colour. I don't know, I thought it would be fun to try. It's like a mix of like peachy, pinky shades um, in like crazy pink packaging. It's not very me, but. Um, it says it's new. My, I was trying to get things that are new and that I can't get at home. That was like my rule. And I really like Physicians Formula as a brand. I actually have um, a couple of things from them, which I'll talk about next. But like, I really like them. Yeah. Have you tried a lot of their stuff? Yeah, I think the packaging is like really not me, but then the products are always really good when yeah. I try them. So this one, I got the Argan Wear bronzer because like last time I was over here, I bought the Argan Wear blush, which I really love. I bought this and then my friend Tati um, came over the other day and was like, yeah, that sucks. Oh and no! I was like, oh no! I like she just know checked with Tati first. Yeah, but you know the everything. reason why? She was like, smell it. Oh yeah, it's because it's got argan oil it in it. It smells like incense. It's like yeah. really bizarre, but I'm hoping it will be good anyway. She was like, if you can get past the smell, it's okay, but... It doesn't smell like, too bad. Like It's not like the L'Oreal lipsticks, which I can't deal with. It smells just like granny slash oh. incense. Oh, it's very yeah, weird. It's very, very strong. strong. If you like that like incense -y, oud kind of thing in makeup, then you might like it. You might like this, but I've never smelled any makeup that smells like that before. No, that's quite intense. It's quite intense for a blonde, a, bl a, bl a bronzer. <laughs> that's the problem. I felt in Target there weren't many testers out. There's not. They don't have testers over here in the drugstore. But how do you? Oh, it's terrible. How do you know what you want? But then you can bring stuff back. Yeah, if it's rubbish, you can just be like, don't want this anymore, and they take it back. Yeah, that's good. But the test of things was Which quite annoying. Which is weird, right? Yeah. Even if they've like recommended for you to get it, like to shade match you, you can be like, I didn't like it. Very weird. Yeah, so I kind of struggled um, shade-wise. Well, I haven't tried this yet. It might be a perfect match. But I got a tinted moisturiser. Well, it's from San Sonia Kashuk. The Perfecting Luminous Foundation. And Sounds good. Yeah, I got it in Zero Two Vanilla. I'm normally like a vanilla -y shade. Um, and it, I think it's there's another foundation that's slightly heavier, so I'm hoping this is kind of the lighter foundation. Yeah. The packaging kind of reminds me of Mac for some reason. I don't like. Yeah. I don't really know why, but I can't say much about it because I haven't tried it. But I love a good base, so I'm hoping this is good. We will see. <laughs> uh, my next thing is again from Physicians Formula, and this is their um, shimmer strips where they do like three eyeliners in one. And I just thought this looks interesting. They're like glittery, so you have like grey bronze or like taupe, I don't know, you actually know what they're called, black pewter and champagne, there we go. And I just think they're champagne. quite cute. That's Which definitely not a champagne. None of those, it's like grey, black and I brown. I don't know what kind of champagne they're <laughs> drinking, but it's definitely gone off. Um, so yeah, they're like extreme, I'm going to open them and have a look. Yeah. So obviously you can't try them in the shop, so um, I just thought they looked really cute. Oh, Ooh. oh, oh no! no! Where's it gone, where's it gone? Oh, the whole eyeliner just came out. <laughs> Stick it back in. <laughs> Tragedy. So they're like glittery. Oh, the black one's oh. really soft actually. Yeah, they're like shimmery. Yeah. A little bit of something. 
could do a good little smoky kind of eye. I actually quite like the taupe one. Yeah. Although I feel like it wouldn't show up that much, but it's a nice colour. You could kind of blend it out, it would look nice. Yeah. I also got an eyeliner, and this said new, so I wanted to try it. <laughs> it looks really good, actually. It does, but they didn't have the... There's like a really nice... Wait, I haven't said what it is. It's L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Silky Pencil Eyeliner. And this is in Green Ivy, which I quite like a nice kind of greeny... Yeah, eyeliner, but they olive. exactly olive. That's the word I was thinking of. But they had a really nice gold one that I thought would be nice for the inside, but they were sold out. Um, but it looks like the picture makes it look like it's gonna be really smooth. Yeah, you know what is weird? Like, what's this word? Silkism. 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 This is so silkism. <laughs> it's like totes amazing. That. Nah. Um, the next thing I got are um, two of the Sally Hanson Sally Hansen <laughs> salon effects. Uh, nail polish strips. I know these are like an old thing that everyone got into like a few years ago. I've just discovered them and I think they're amazing. You went crazy um, when you were, went you were crazy. trying to I have them, them on my toes right now. <laughs> Basically, I don't really get on with nail wraps that well because they just peel off like within about five minutes and they drive me crazy. And you know when you get a tiny bit and you're like, I want to rip it off. These like stick on. They're made of real nail varnish so they just stick on and don't move and they stay for like two weeks it's literally the best thing ever no drying time they take like five minutes to put on they're really expensive they're like 13 or 14 dollars a pack mm. which i think is quite a lot do so you um, just use them on your toes or your fingers I, i've used them on my toes this time nice um but it's just quite sparkly my toes are really ugly as well i'm making lily look at my toes <laughs> i'm like look at my toes <laughs> anyone's uh, toes not ugly just... um so yeah i got a pink sparkly one and the french manicure one which i was really excited about but then i opened it and discovered that you stick tips on separately which I'm not sure how I feel about it but we'll find out we will see all right my next thing is I'm gonna go for these they are the L'Oreal um oh no I think I bought the wrong things I'm what? sure I was looking for the Le Mac oh you bought the shiny ones oh man the Le, Le Lac ones oh, I've done terribly with shopping this trip I keep like everything I want is sold out these are good though I have that mauve one it's good okay these are the Le, Le Lac I was looking for the Le Mac ones which is that they're called Le Mac yeah, I think, uh, I don't know, like but that. they have matte and shiny. Tati talked about them in a video just yeah. before I came out, so I was looking for them, and I was like, ooh, a red and a nude. But no, I think, I think these are the glossy ones. Mm. Well, hopefully they're still nice. Maybe not, I don't really do glossy red, but yeah, it's this is like a too. nice, like, pinky nude. Oh, man. This is good, I have it. Yeah? It is good, yeah. Okay. I like it. I also got another, like, nudie movie lip <laughs> product, which if you watched our Sephora haul, you'll know I really don't need, because I have about 50 million of them. This is from Alme. I've never used anything from Alme before, ever. Um, and it is in the shade Nude Light Medium, which is really bizarre for a <laughs> lip like... product. It sounds like a concealer. It's the Smart Shade Butter. Um, it butter looks Kiss. exactly like the Revlon, the Revlon ones. Yeah. The butters. Well, this, I put this on a really hairy part of my hand. Let's not do that. Um, <laughs> it's like a slightly darker nude. It's nice. Yeah, I quite like it. It seems quite, feels quite nice. Mm. We'll see. So the last thing that I got is from Wet n Wild, and it's a. Uh... I just wouldn't expect you to buy this. <laughs> Can I just jump in? Like, it's, it's extremely glittery. Okay, so it's called Brass. Um, it's intensely. It's actually called Intensely Sparkly Glitter. Um, but the reason I got it because it looks like the one in like the Charlotte Tilbury and the Tom Ford palettes. You know, there's always one glitter, yeah. and I quite like after I've done my eyeshadow, just kind of pressing a bit on with my finger. And if this is good, then it's like a cheap version. I don't know though, because sometimes with these, they good. end up being like gel. Um, I'd be really interested to see because sometimes they're just like a jelly, and they have like a tiny bit of glitter in them. Oh no! And other times want that. they're like intense glitter. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. find out. I'm hoping it's like a press-on glitter type action. Hopefully. It's, pre it's a pretty colour. Um, I've got two things left. The first one are these um, mini face masks, which you were like, ugh, in the shop. You were like, no, they look terrible. I was like, oh, I think they look terrible. <laughs> That's crazy. a lie. I just didn't get as excited as Anna did when you showed her. I was like, mm. Anna was like, ooh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're like, I'm not sure I would get those. I was like, I want to try them, they're so cute. They're in these like little pods from Nug, the face mask, or the soothing one and the hydrating one. I just thought they'd be good for travel. Just they they look like cream cheese. They do. <laughs> travel. The Marmite, you know, when you yeah. get the like. Exactly. It's really bizarre. And then I also got a lip scrub, which comes in a stick. Lip scrubs are generally really hard to find, apart from like lush and fresh. I don't really know of any others. And in a stick? I don't even understand how stick. this is going to work. Well, like, let's find out. It's basically, well, it like. It looks like a proper lip It's in a lipstick. And oh, it smells really good. So you put it on and, and then kind of on and it's wash it scrubby. Off. Or maybe you keep it on. Oh, so not... you like can work it on, look. Yeah. It's Ooh. got like grains in it and then and then 
wash it off. Or... You find these things. I need to get better at this whole like drugstore shopping thing. I don't know. I just that's saw it. Although it's gonna get messy though. Look, because that's gone like yeah, it's gonna be really messy. It looks good though. It looks like the fresh. Exciting. I didn't even say what it was. It's um, it's from a brand I had never heard of called Twenty Nine by Lydia Mondavi. I wonder who she is. Random, it's probably who someone is. who some everyone in America knows. <laughs> is that everything? Yeah, that's it. Cool, that's our entire Target haul. So if you want to see what we picked up from Sephora and Ulta, head over to Fleur's channel. I will link the video down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye! Bye! <laughs>